I mean, I've told you that I'm somebody who is extremely critical of both front office and coach heading into this year. Said it was it was absolutely a year that they were going to have their feet held to the fire if they didn't make the playoffs. Uh, certainly, I thought the coach was going to lose the job. And now I've seen more, got more games. I've seen uh, the talent on the field. I've seen them battle with all the adverse conditions, given the injuries right off the bat. They've been hammered as many as much as any other team in the NFL in terms of significant injuries. Quarterback, running back, running back that was the best in football. Quarterback that, you know, you were trading for an elite quarterback. You've gotten the worst quarterback play in the NFL. And your your situation at right tackle uh, and left tackle, you've you've navigated through. You've been able to deal with it as best you can. I mean, you got a rookie at right tackle that that people were saying was undraftable. And you're sitting here at four and three with games going right down to the wire that could go either way. Uh, I think this is a a, a big case for them and why, uh, you know, I don't think either are going anywhere. And yes, Stefanski made a bad call, most likely a bad call. You don't think that that type of thing could cost them in the end if they're nine and eight and they don't make the playoffs? Because you said you said nine would get them in. Do you think 10 gets them in? Nine or 10 gets them in? Do you think nine gets them in? I still think they have a shot with nine. Okay. I do. Because I have as well. If they don't get in with nine wins, like let's go to the hill and say they're a game away and just the ball doesn't go their way on that Sunday. They win against Cincinnati. Hey, great. The ball doesn't go their way and they end up going nine and eight and they don't make the playoffs. I think a game like that against Seattle is going to stick in everybody's craw. Now, you you only have three losses. That means you got five more weeks of losing yeah. somewhere out there. And with this schedule, I mean, there's some things that can very well break right for you. I mean, over the next couple of weeks, it's going to get pretty cloudy because you have Baltimore and Pittsburgh there, which... I don't know what to make of Pittsburgh. Maybe I'm giving Pittsburgh way too much credit, and we'll get to that level when we get to that level with all the fans there. But there are some good teams in there, and there's certainly some beatable teams as time goes on. Anthony, I, I don't know if people are going to see it that way. I, I don't think if they get the 9-8. Well, and eight, fans, I think won't. That, fans won't. I but get I, that. But I think that teams yeah, often fans, give listen, their fans I'm a, a fan. pound of flesh. I'm a fan. I always think coaches are on the hot seat probably prematurely. Uh, so, so I understand that.